In this video, we're going to discuss alanine biosynthesis. This is also a very a relatively simple uh, process. Actually, we're just going to use pyruvate to do this. All right. Now we have this concept that glycolysis is going to ultimately produce two pyruvate per glucose. And that pyruvate has several fates that it can undergo. It could go into lactate dehydrogenase to form lactate. It could ultimately go into the TCA cycle through the linking reaction pyruvate dehydrogenase. Or its other choice is to become alanine. Okay, and actually this reaction of alanine transaminase, this is a specific transaminase or amino transfer, is called alanine transaminase. And this reaction actually has some very important implications in skeletal muscle metabolism. And I have that in an exercise physiology playlist. That pathway is called the glucose alanine cycle. It turns out it's very important for regenerating energy in vigorously exercising skeletal muscle. Okay? However, in the anabolic direction, we're going to take pyruvate and we're going to convert it to alanine. The thing I want you to notice is pyruvate is an alpha keto acid. And alanine is, as we discussed in a previous video on transamination reactions, alanine is the amino acid version of pyruvate, meaning we're going from pyruvate, an alpha keto acid, to alanine, an amino acid, which means if we're doing a transamination, we have to go here from an amino acid to an alpha keto acid. So this is just a typical transamination reaction. And, and in general, the amino acid here is going to be glutamate, and the alpha keto acid is going to be alpha ketoglutarate. This reaction, depending on the energy state of the liver, can occur either direction. Alanine can be converted to pyruvate, or pyruvate can be converted to alanine. If the liver is in the biosynthetic direction, it generally is going to run to alanine. The skeletal muscle, on the other hand, generally only runs from pyruvate to alanine. And that's part of the glucose alanine cycle. Okay, it turns out that pyruvate that's produced through anaerobic glycolysis, instead of forming so much lactate, the pyruvate will be transaminated to make alanine, and then the alanine will be dumped into the blood, go to the liver, and then the liver will reverse it back to pyruvate, and then resynthesize glucose. And we have a whole video discussing the glucose alanine cycle. I'll even post it in this playlist after this video. But it's a very important pathway for or cycle for vigorously exercising skeletal muscle. But I just wanted to make, make you know that alanine transaminase is a reversible reaction. It's a transaminase, so it has to be reversible. But in the biosynthetic direction, alanine is made from pyruvate, the product of glycolysis. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for future videos and notifications. Thank you.